St. Mary's had a lot of that damage, especially to the utility systems there. The north part of the city, north of Elm Street, remains under a boil advisory, and they did just update us that they do have some bottled water still available if folks in St. Mary's need it. They are moving that to City Hall and the Police Department building, so take note if you're in St. Mary's. You are invited to join in marking a major milestone for Washburn University. Their School of Nursing will celebrate its 50th anniversary. Their Dean, Dr. Jane Carpenter, is here with Associate Professor Lori Edwards. Welcome to both of you. Appreciate Thank you here. being here. Thank you. And this is a great celebration because, Dr. Carpenter, it is so important to have nurses in our community. It's critical to have nurses in our community, and um, we are working in hospitals, in clinics, in home health, hospice, in all areas um, across our community here and state nationwide. So, how long have you been at Washburn? I've been at this is my 31st year oh at my Washburn. Goodness. Yes, well, congratulations so. to you as well. Thank you. How I'm, have you? Oh, I'm, go ahead, I go was going to say I'm also a graduate of the program myself nice. many years ago. So, no, just two or three. Just two or three. <laughs> um, how have you seen nursing evolve, and especially when it comes to nursing education over that period of time? Um, I believe that uh, you know we're. Um, a lot more into technology, um, using simulation. Um, now we're starting to think about how do we incorporate AI into what the students are um, learning. Lots and lots of technology, and it changes every day. So things that we taught when I was a student there aren't relevant any longer, and because through evidence we've learned that um, we can do things better. Everything so, evolves. Everything, everything evolves. Everything changes. You are going to celebrate this milestone, though, in a very fun way. Lori, right. what do you have planned? And, and why did you decide to make it something fun? Well, because we know our nurses have uh, families and uh, long hours, and we, we wanted to start out with, you know, something fun that we could include uh, children in as well. So we have um, a many memory walls. We have some lots of pictures over the years on our decades posters, all of our international travels to Costa Rica, Guatemala, Japan, Finland, Hungary. Um, we'll have uh, posters up of those mm -hmm. and asking our graduates what they remember, what's helped them throughout the years and a lot of reminiscing but also looking forward to the future. Right. And you are inviting the community in to we see are. this. Why do you feel it's important and why do you feel it's important to make sure the community knows what you're doing and how you're doing it? I, well, so they can see where when they're where in they're in situations where they're interacting with nurses, where they're learning at. So right. kind of that that at least that um, brick environment. Mm -hmm. And and we will have simulations going. Yes. Oh, those are always fun to see. Yes, they are And that's fun. probably, if you had to think of one thing that really symbolizes how far it's come, and the thing you'd like to, is it the simulation labs that you'd I, really like yeah, people to see? I yeah. think so. I think, you know, we've gotten uh, more advanced and, you know, with our mannequins who can speak, who can cough, um, who have lung sounds, heart sounds, um, we can make wounds for them. Um, We've also begun using standardized patients. So um, Washburn Theater students have been serving as standardized patients for us because sometimes you need a real person in the bed versus a mannequin. Uh, um, the mannequins are pretty. I don't want to say pretty, creepy, but they're, they're because they're so real. <laughs> we're pretty. We're pretty good with wigs and glasses and um, makeup um, um, to help kind of. Um, create that in, that environment to make it more realistic for the students. This open house that you have coming up is just one of many events to celebrate Washburn's 50th right. anniversary for the School of Nursing. What else is, can we look forward to, Lori? We have, uh, we're going to have uh, a gala in September um, where we have some of the, the same, you know, pictures. Um, there's a video that's being yeah. created yeah. on the past, the pr present, and the future, future. and the WI, uh, no, KTWU, KTWU is putting together, is putting together for us. Together. I don't know if I'm supposed to mention the. That's okay. They're 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 good friends <laughs> of ours. They're good friends <laughs> of ours. And why is it so important that nursing nursing education continues and continues to evolve? And I think that's that might be a very obvious answer, but well, there's a tremendous nursing shortage, mm -hmm. so um, we need to bring people into the profession to help them grow. Um, Nursing, edu nursing education is really lifelong. They continue to learn because there's new technology, new medications. So we're trying to teach them to be lifelong learners.
Well, we want everybody to see what you're doing over there at the Washburn School of Nursing. So mm -hmm. head on over to their 50th anniversary open house. It is on Friday, May 3rd from 4 to 6 at Petro Allied Health Center on the Washburn campus. Free and open to the public. They're giving back as well. They encourage you to bring canned good donations and personal, mm -hmm. personal hygiene item donations. That is going to stock the BODS Feeding BODS Food Pantry. So thank you both for being here. Appreciate all Thanks you so do much. and making sure we have nurses available to Very help pleasure. us when we need it. Thank, thank you. Thank you. It is a special day for a local business that aims to inspire conversation. We'll go on the road for their birthday party next.